Alléluia. 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 Good morning. Happy Wednesday. Happy New Month. And happy New Day. This month will be a blissful month for us. In Jesus' name. Anything we do this month will surely be grace with mercy in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus Christ, we'll be lifted higher above every other thing in the name of Jesus. Amen. This is Love Word, taking you hope in heaven, a guide to a close fellowship with God. The topic before this morning is love gives. Love gives. Our memory first shall be found in the book of 1 John 3, verse 16. I read, Hereby perceive with the love of God, because he laid down his life for us. And we out to lay our life for the brethren. In the first Corinthians 13, verse 13, faith, hope, and love were described as abiding. The first, however, went further to say that love is the greatest among them. God loved us first before we could love Him in return. First John 4, verse 19. When a person has a good understanding of God's love for him or her, it is as if a veil is removed from the fellow eyes. He or she will suddenly begin to love God in return and then become free from all the shackles of this sinful world. God loves us so much that he considers nothing too big to give us. Romans 8 verse 3 says, 32 says, He that spare not his own son, but deliver him all for us all, how shall he not with him also freely give us all things? I repeat, He that spare not his own son, but deliver him all for us, how shall he not with him also freely give us all things? If God could give us this greatest gift ever, His Son. John 3 verse 16 Nothing is too big for Him to give to you. Nothing God gives to us because it is committed to loving us. He expects us to love our neighbor and give to them too. 1 John 4 verse 21 says, And this commandment have we from Him, that he would love God, love his brother also. How much do you love those around you? How much do you love your colleague in your office? One day, a young man came from one of Holy Ghost service in Nigeria and saw his aunt in the middle of the crowd. He screamed, Auntie, so you come here too? She asked, I just started coming and he said, Oh, I have been coming for many years now. She became angry with him because he had found the light a long time ago but didn't introduce her to Christ. She was so furious that he didn't want her that she was on the way to hell. Are you going to be heartless too and watch your family member go to hell? You have found the light. Why not tell them about Jesus Christ? Why not inviting them to church with you? Why not make it a duty to give them devotion every year? Hoping that even if they refuse to surrender their life to Christ, one day will be one day. God will lead them to read it and see something that will touch them. If you truly love your neighbor, you will lead them to that gift that the Lord has given to you. 
which is salvation. By doing so, share this program, share this message every day. You will see the goodness of God will be upon your life. Brethren, I want us to read the book of Romans 8, 31 to 37. And our Bible in one year, Job 36, verse 39. Our key point for today, the greatest gift you can give to show someone that you love them is the gospel. Please, don't hold it back. I repeat, the greatest gift you can give to show someone that you love them is the gospel. Don't hold it back. Spare the word of God. Let the word be full in your mouth so that everybody can benefit from the love of God. The gift that you have received, share it according to, and you will never lack. Love gives everything. This is love word. Till I come your way tomorrow, I want you to read the Bible verses that I give you. And please remember to share the gift that you receive. God bless you. Happy new month and have a new and a blissful month ahead. In Jesus' name. Till I come your way tomorrow, have a nice day and God bless you. Bye for now. See you tomorrow.